Well, welcome back. This is a very special edition, like Nikunj pointed out. It's really about starting young and getting into the investing uh, philosophy uh, of building wealth over a long period of time um, as a toddler. Yes. So, you know, who says that you have to wait to go to school and colleges to understand uh, the basic the basics of money mm -hmm. saving and how stock markets operate? And that is what we would be discussing that how can you if you have grandchildren and children, how can you really teach them young? Now, when it comes to grasping the very basics of financials, how early is early? Well, Zerodha, a financial service firm, seems to think that seven, yes, seven years is just fine. But how do you really convince a seven-year-old, uh, you know, kid to swap bats, you know, the the bats and the ball for books and that too on finance? Well, they've started a series, well-illustrated books with a fun storyline. So to tell us more about that, we've got Karthik with us, the author of the book. Uh, Karthik, thank you for joining us. Now, how did you come up with this idea? So this this has been an uh, interesting, you know, um, uh, background. So about a year ago, I was talking to my daughter, seven-year-old daughter. We were having a little chat over dinner, and she, uh, you know, all of a sudden asked me if uh, what is it that Zeroda does and what is it that I do for Zeroda. And I realized that, you know, it, it's very difficult to explain what stockbroking is to her. And the following day I was having a, a conversation with my colleagues Nitin and uh, others. And, you know, I was telling them, look, this is what my daughter asked me. And uh, we realized that there's hardly any material out there which explains, you know, basic financial concepts to children. And we being India's you know, premier financial institute, we thought we should plug in this part and uh, that's how the whole idea of Rupee Tales was born. Arthur, do you think reading alone can help children become financially responsible? See, reading books will help them, you know, uh, it's, it's like a stepping stone, it, it's the very first step. And uh, what really needs to happen is parents need to, they need to follow this up with, uh, you know, some sort of activity. Uh, maybe take them to the bank or maybe take them to the uh, insurance agent when, whenever they're visiting. So this sort of experiential learning, uh, in my opinion, will add a lot more value along with reading books. And how lucrative have these books been? I mean, have you seen a good response? Uh, have the sales been promising? Because it's also about not just changing the mindset of young kids, but also that of their parents. Sales has been all right. We've sold. We managed to sell a few thousand books, a few couple of thousands of books. But uh, but this never been about money. You know, uh, this was a decision taken from the heart, and in fact, that's how uh, most of the business decisions at Zeroda are taken. And we think about revenues later on. So it's it's a very satisfying uh, you know affair. And uh, besides that, you know, the sales have also been uh, pretty impressive, quite and crazy. Mm. And tell us more about your plans to write more books. Uh, what's in the cards? Uh, maybe another uh, edition uh, of the same philosophy, another format perhaps? Look, we've got, uh, we do a lot of, uh, you know, activities around uh, spreading financial literacy in the country. We've got uh, Zeroda Varsity, which is, uh, you know, where we put up close to about 10 odd books online, this free for all. And we've got people from uh, from age group of close to about 18 up to 70 years uh, reading through this uh, this content. And we've got Rupee Tales on the other hand, which talks about financial, uh, you know, uh, uh, basic financial concepts from age group of seven to maybe about 12, 13. So, so I mean, the next logical step is for us to is to write something between 13 to 20 years of age group. Uh, to address to that demographics and uh, if we do that you know we would be spreading literacy across from 7 to 70 onwards uh, in the country so that's what we are thinking about next and we wish you all the very best Karthik uh, with your endeavors thanks very much for taking out the time uh, this is very interesting uh, and keep up uh, the work that you're committed to right now Okay, everyday finance lessons uh, and you can start your kids uh, on to those lessons uh, from the age of 7 itself. We'll take a very short break but when we come back, uh, get you a quick perspective on how to approach trade in the coming week.